48 hours ago, we found something quite remarkable. What'd they find? There's a structure. In Antarctica? And a specimen. Really? Touching down. I'm Kyle Smith, film critic for the New York Post. The Thing is in theaters. Uh, this is a remake and a prequel. It's actually a prequel to the 1982 remake uh, that was directed by John Carpenter. Really seen now as a classic, although it flopped at the time. And that itself was a remake of the, uh, the 50s movie, The Thing from Another World. A team of Norwegian scientists headed by uh, the actor Ulrich Thompson uh, uh, works with an American paleontologist played by Mary Elizabeth Winstead to examine the thing, the alien thing, and give it an autopsy. But of course, the thing isn't really dead. And not only is it not dead, but it can uh, take over people's bodies and imitate their DNA and flesh so well that you, you wouldn't know that your best friend had just become uh, a, a monster, murderous alien from another planet. The thing has fantastic special effects. I think they've they really got some great CGI in this movie. And they, they, they tried it out a lot. There's a lot of extremely gory, barf-inducing uh, horrific effects and the movie's reasonably suspenseful I, I think it, it holds your interest the problem is I didn't really care about any of these characters I didn't care who's gonna get killed next oh, <laughs> screw you man son of a It's scary in parts, it's suspenseful in parts. Overall, I don't think it makes that much of an impression. It um, doesn't have a whole lot of star power. I think clearly the, the Kurt Russell 1982 version, far superior, much more suspenseful and a lot more uh, psychologically engaging. So I'm giving this version of the thing two stars out of four. I'm Kyle Smith, film critic for the New York Post. You're inside.